सिंपल ऑब्वियस एंड पावरफुल दिस इज वन ऑफ द फीडबैक्स आई रिसीव्ड फॉर द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैड मेड अबाउट द ट्रेड्स दैट आई हैव सीन इन लीडर्स दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज इन केस यू हैव नॉट वॉच द फर्स्ट वन आई वुड एनकरेज यू टू द लिंक दैट आई हैव गिवन हियर विल टेक यू टू द फर्स्ट वन टू री कैप वी डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग ट्रेड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो इंस्पायर द फॉलोअर्स विथ अ रिलेवेंट एंड शेयर गोल्ड इंडिविजुअल सक्सेसेस आर नॉट रिलेवेंट इफ द टीम फेल्स and three people are different everyone needs to be managed differently in this video we will cover a few more when i started my career i had the opportunity to work with a few project managers one of them let's call him opaque talked to us very sparingly he used to make statements like arvind by next week you need to finish tasks a b and c then you will deliver it to mr x honestly i do not have much idea of what my tasks are going to do in this big project he had a very clear idea of how different pieces would fit together but most of the engineers who worked in the project did not they just followed what was told to them in contrast there was another project manager who used to give a big picture of the project how each of the tasks would be done and would contribute to the project as a whole i saw a lot more people discussing in meetings with him he used to make statements like this is the problem we have this is what we are trying to solve what ideas do you have to solve this over and about the high level picture that he gave about the project he also invited ideas from us he never asked us to do something instead he wanted us to do what we are good at solving problems we used to discuss about the problems and the different solutions we had even during after office hours when having lunch when having snacks when having dinner the problem and how to solve it was always in our minds So if you are leading people who you believe are smarter than you involve them in solving the problems you have if you feel that you are the smartest in the room either you are or you don't trust the team in both the cases you are in the wrong place my younger son is a fan of iPhones whenever he does not behave properly like he does not eat well i use this rather cruel technique for motivating him i tell him that iphone fans are just lazy this is a direct attack on him and he will do whatever he can to prove that iphone fans are the best by behaving the best he can by eating all the food that has been served for him people tend to perform much better when they get associated with a group they adore as a leader your responsibility is to create this respect about the team in your team members once your team members start feeling this pride about their group and when they visualize themselves as a part of it the bar they set for themselves would be much higher and they would do whatever they can to meet the expectations this is one trick that speakers use to get the best questions from the audience the speakers ask the audience to introduce themselves when the questioner mentions their name and the organization name that they are associated with which they are proud of they come up with the best comments and the questions the next point is very interesting vanish no you don't have to learn magic for acquiring this leadership trait a true leader becomes invisible when the team becomes successful a true leader also would make the team members invisible when the results are not that glorious in 2002 when i was working in technopark trivandrum i happened to listen to a speech by dr abdul kalam 
Back in 1979, he told, when our SLV-3 launch failed, Professor Satish Dhawan called for a press conference and took all the tough questions from the media. He protected the team and built confidence in them by proclaiming that the same team will succeed the next year. And they did. When the next mission of SLV-3 succeeded, Professor Satish Dhawan asked Dr. Abdul Kalam to call for a press conference and stand in front of the nation proud. Dr. Satish Dhawan never attended that press conference. That's leadership. He made the team invisible when there was a failure and made himself invisible to put the limelight on the team. Accept the blame and share the glory or even hand over the glory to the team. I am giving a link to a video where Dr. Abdul Kalam himself speaks about this story. Are you an aspirant leader who want to improve your world, the world of people around you and make a big impact to the society? If yes, please connect with me. Please click on the Calendly link given in the description below to have a 15 minute free transformational call with me. Let's explore your strengths, your dreams, your goals and the worries that you have which might be preventing you from achieving them. Let's work together to make you the best version of yourself. Looking forward to working with you very soon.